Thank you so much for coming to The Messenger. Once again, I am The Messenger, and I'm just here to give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and revelation on whatever you are facing today. So how many of you know that this page is about things that nobody want to talk about? And the reason why I do this is because there are a lot of people going through things and nobody talk about, nobody touch, nobody show them how to get out of that situation, nobody uh, share and help with that situation because it's such a touchy subject. And this week, I just been talking about love because we're already in a world where, it, I mean, evil is good. So if you evil, you're cool, you know, you're going viral, you know, you do uh, evil things and you do all this stuff and you, you, you popular. But how many of you know that when you don't do good, when you don't do evil, you're considered weird. You consider something wrong with you. Uh, you're not normal. Uh, you're telling me you don't do this? You don't do that? Uh, something wrong. You know, you, you're not normal. You need to have fun. You need to live it up. You know, when they don't know that you've already had fun, you've already been in that evil, you've already lived it up, you've already tried that, and it just didn't work for you. So when you got delivered and saved for real you learn how to do things god ways and now you're considered weird and everyone wants to attack you because you're different because you don't do things their way you think you're better but how many of you know hit that like button if you know what i'm talking about that you're not weird you keep going you keep doing right you keep showing them the right way of doing things you be that light in that dark place you keep showing up but always remember, you don't hang with people that are coming against you. You don't hang with people that keep doing evil to you. They keep doing hateful things to you. They keep saying hateful things to you. You don't hang with them. You still be nice. You still be loving. But how many of you know you have to separate yourself? God talks about that. What does dark and light have in common? We don't have nothing in common. And if we're not that strong, hit that like button if I'm in your house, that we can pull them, they can pull us just as well. So you have to be careful. I, you know, God got on me a long time ago about he would show me people and I would still hang with them. And I think after some years, I promise you, I can hear God fussing at me and saying, LaTanya, stop ignoring who they really are. Stop ignoring their character. That's them. Separate yourself. But how many of you know we got people um, that don't like that? You still be nice. You still talk to them. But how many of you know that Jesus didn't hang with people? Sinner. He hung with sinners. He hung with those type of sinners that won't help. That want to change. That want what he has to offer. He didn't hang with the ones that sit back and belittle you and throw little sneer remarks at you. Sarcastic remarks. He didn't hang with those. He hung with the ones that were sinners and who were ready for a change. Their heart wasn't hardened. They were ready to receive in the name and the blood of Jesus. How many of you know that? But you got people, hallelujah Jesus, that will mistreat you on purpose because you're strong, because you're a child of God, because you're living it and doing it right and say, ah, I wasn't raised like that. I wasn't taught like that. I, I, my parents didn't tell me that. Oh, you're grown now. You're a whole grown man. You're a whole grown woman. And you're still acting like that. But how many of you know that um, in the word of God, it talks about that too. It talks about in uh, Matthew chapter 7 and 9, which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? Nobody on this earth if their kid asks for something going to give them a stone so you know how to act you know what to do you're just choosing and picking what you want to do who you want to serve who you want to be nice to who you want to uh treat right who you want to uh do right and a lot of people are coming up with excuses why they won't do right by you because of who you are but you keep doing right 
You keep serving the Lord. You keep doing God's, take care of God's business. You keep doing the things of God because we're living in a world where evil is good and nobody want to approach the evil. Nobody want to say nothing to the evil, but they approach to the good. They'll tell you you're wrong. They'll tell you you're out of character. You're tell they're you're telling they're telling you that you're not right, and you about God's business. You about doing the will of God, but people will make you feel like you're wrong, and and, and that you're supposed to love people. You do supposed to love people, but you still have to separate yourself. The word in Luke 6.32 says, If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. So when we are children of God, and we are of God, we are love. And we are to love those who love us, and we are to love those that hate us. He talks about that loving the enemy. But he if you look at Jesus' walk, he didn't walk with those who were hard-hearted. He walked with sinners that were ready, that was willing to change. They want Jesus. That's who he hung with. It says it in there twice in the Bible, this same scripture. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 46, it says, If you love those who love you, what reward is that to you? Even taxpayers do that. So, listen, we as children of God continue to, to do good even when evil is all around you. And they're going, God said, count it all joy when those come against you. You know, I count it all joy. I thank you because if you're not going through nothing, the enemy already have you. You already, you're not a threat to the kingdom of darkness. And we are supposed to, if we're children of God, I can't stress this enough. We are supposed to be love. We are not going around provoking each other. We are not going around testing each other. We're not going around picking and choosing who we want to love. You know, even sinners do that. You know, I've seen so many times where I can go in a church <laughs> and be treated bad left and right and I can go to work and be treated like a queen like they see me they see that I'm a woman of God they see that I'm love they see who I am but when you walk in the church is how many of you know it's not like that it's not like that and the first thing they want to say is y y you gotta love I do love you but light and darkness, we don't have nothing in common. You have to understand that. You can't hang around everybody. If you're light and darkness, even night and day is separated. Glory to God. Even night and day is separated. So why are we forcing ourselves to be around people that are evil, that are darkness? We're supposed to be separated. We can communicate and talk to you and, and, and have a conversation, but we don't supposed to hang with each other. And if a lot of people understand that, they will understand the kingdom of darkness and the kingdom of uh, light. We're two different things. We don't mix. So, like I said, I can go in church and be provoked and mistreated left and right and go to work and people tell me I see your light I see your love oh my god when you come around the room just light up I'm in I'm in the world being treated like this and I go now I'm not talking about where I'm at now I'm talking about experiences I go in the church and they shun me they don't want me around. They reject me. Isn't that what Jesus went through? Come on now. You need to study Jesus' walk. People think Jesus came and it was all cookies and creams. No, it was not. They call him a demon. 
They called him evil. They called him all kind of things. So I don't, I don't count it strange right now that that's going on because that's how it is. God, Jesus did not come to bring unity. He came to bring division, division. That's what he came to do. And you guys need to study Jesus' walk. It's come to bring division, not unity. So, when you understand, you can't come and tell me you don't know how to treat people and you in your 30s. Now, I can understand the teenager. I can understand 20s because in 20-year-olds, they find a life. They finding how to treat people. They finding how to do things. But you 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and you still talking about how you don't know how to treat people. Yes, you do. You know how to treat people. You just treat who you want to treat right. And that's not love. So, guys, I pray that this helps somebody. It really blessed my spirit when the Lord wanted me to come on here and talk about it. Excuse this. I got this to block the sun. It's just shining, beaming bright. Um, and so it just blessed my soul to know light and dark don't mix. I don't care who you are. Mama, daddy, brother, sister, children. Listen, I've done it. Because, see, I got an assignment to do, and I don't have time to play with people and demons. I don't play with demons. Y'all got to understand, demons are real. This is a real thing. This ain't no joke. And I don't play with them. I love on them and keep going. I don't have time. And I come here to help and bless you. You don't want it, I keep going. I don't, I don't babysit it. I used to babysit and try to prove to people and try to show people I don't have time to do that. Jesus is coming. I got an assignment to do. And God did not come to bring unity. He came to bring division. Get it in your head. Division. I'm talking to myself. Division. God is love. Evil and light don't mix. It don't mix. Even night and day don't mix. One got to go, one got to stay. That's just how it is. So I pray that this bless your soul. I pray that this is the missing piece to your puzzle. Glory to God. I pray and hit that like button if this just really blessed your soul and unhealthy open your eyes to see that there is nothing wrong with you we're we are living in times where evil is good oh you evil you the bomb you going viral but when you good okay you know what uh, you uh, nobody perfect like that uh, oh my god no nah, you just do uh, no you can't be real you're fake oh no keep thinking let them think that don't explain yourself and keep going we're not here to keep babysitting people people know how to treat people they know how to treat people they love they know how to treat people stop accepting that they know how many of you experience where this is good right here how many of you experience that where you see people loving on everybody else and when they come to you they treat you different but this is the same person that say they know how to love, but it's you. So you're going, man, well, you know, maybe, yeah. But you, you know, God is showing you that they love everybody else. They love who they love. They like who they like. But you watching how they love everybody else to when they get to you. They're excited when they talking to everybody. They get to you, oh, hey. Yeah, all right okay and then you sit back and watch them get excited after they made it seem like they so tired and they have told you i'm so tired oh yeah all right then sis and then you watch them not on purpose but god tell you to look up and you see and they're excited all over again talking to another person come on now 
You ever been in a conversation where you talking and you excited and they not even listening so they they not listening so much you just walk off because you 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 tired of talking to the wall and they don't even acknowledge you gone. They don't even apologize and say I'm so sorry. I was just so deep in thought. They don't even apologize. You just walk off and it, it's and it's every time you come around light and darkness don't mix. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Keep being loving. Keep being affectionate. Keep shining your light in that dark place. All right, guys. Hopefully the Holy Spirit lit up and let me cut the video off. But guess what? If God is for you, glory to God, who can be against you? All right, guys. You need to pay attention this week. I'm not saying look for nothing. Just go on about your week like you always do. But pay attention to what's going on in the spiritual realm. You guys be blessed. Like I said, I am just here to give you wisdom knowledge on whatever you are facing today. Go ahead and comment, like, and share. Somebody needs to hear this. Go ahead and share this video. And go ahead and subscribe so you won't miss another video. You guys be blessed. Bye.